good money says. Good money says. Please, I can't talk to you guys. As you can see, um, welcome back to the live streaming. We, these are Igbo, Igbo nice traditional rulers today. Okay, in the hotel, body put a little note. Makano will only do what you only have put you for second day one the DSS. On a chitel azu, on a chitel azu, Yabo has a candy will lo no lona, you know. People will make a one year up for now, but do you see? Okay, this is a wazer of an ego. Yagas, Yagas, Yagas. This is a Today is 10th day of November 2021, and we are expecting to see the leader of indigenous people of Biafra, Mazinam the Kano, appear in court. And also, we are looking forward to his unconditional release from the DSS dungeon. A lot of people who have been had restricted access to the court, to the court premises. People are standing here stranded, including journalists. Journalists, we are denied access also. The premises, of course, you know, is being barricaded with heavy team of Nigerian security personnel. Going from DSS, civil defense, police, army, air force, and uh, of course, you know, soldiers. These are team of journalists, as you can see. We are standing here, stranded. from the right to my body of a dry coat. Thank you. Sooner least, I also restricted today. This is so, so, so annoying. This is so annoying. Journalists have been questioned. You can imagine. If your name is not in the list, you don't have access into the court. If you're not even close to the court. This is happening in a democratic country. This is happening in a democratic country. We have freedom of spread, uh, freedom of speech, freedom of press exercised. So why would they be restricting uh, people from gaining access into the courtroom? The court belongs to the citizens, not the DSS. This is not DSS office. This is a public place, and press shouldn't be allowed, shouldn't be restricted for entrance into the courtroom. So we don't know what they are practicing. We don't know if it's a secret trial. We don't know. We are here to ascertain that.
Um, the former um, governor of Anambra State is a celebrity to come against it. He just arrived the court premises. He's been questioned. He's been questioned. And even the Ohaneze Igbo lawyer, who was Rike Godi, is also here. The former. Southeast delegate, Southeast traditional rulers delegate. The DSS are the DSS are also restricted. Restricting. The brother, the junior brother of Muslim the Khan of Prince Emmanuel Khan is also here. Because 
So, on our few addresses, maybe for English, yeah. Okay. 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 Dr. Chukwe Mecca, former governor of Palamra By his right, is a nephew of Abuja, Dr. Ezi Bemosu. And by Ezi Bemosu's nephew is a chief who was Rike. And then His Royal Highness, Igwe Ufoma. And then this is Prince Charles. And myself, Professor Charles Mweke. Others are Igbo traditional. Yes. 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 And um, His Royal Majesty Igwe Samuel Odika Ezonga Ezinifite. His Royal Highness Igwe Ibanefe. Yes, sir. His Royal Highness Igwe Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, so the Igbo delegation is here to witness the trial of our son, Namde Kalo. And that's why we are here. We were here last time. Uh, we come here, they say we should wait for clearance, and we are waiting for clearance. And we want to thank you for wonderful job you've been doing in giving this thing a uh, coverage. That is part of democracy. And we are here to ensure that the due process is followed in whatever that is being done. And that's why we are here. We want to thank you very sincerely. And we shall be talking with you as time progresses. Inside, I don't know where the inside means. Clear all the coverage. The last time we were here, we entered. And let's hope that today this delegation will enter. That will enter. We want to see what is going on. But it's a political trial. It's not just a legal trial, it's a political trial. It has international implications. That's why we're Another representative, you please. For on behalf of Otu Okiwu, I'm the chairman of Otu Okiwu on an Abuja on litigation. Last I joined that, we made it very clear that Bahane uh, Zendibu, led by Malene Senior, we represent. So I was the one that personally made the appeal, patronate appeal. Otu, my lord, gave us six laws of lawyers that we represent, that we try to severe them because we are not representing Nanika or the list. They say we are lawyers in Abuja, Igbo lawyers in Abuja. We have the interest in the matter. Likewise, or Hanes and Gifu. So they should be, if they are giving uh, Nanika Lo, they go team five. At least or Hanes should be getting like three or four. But two of you will be getting like three or four so that everybody, because we have eating that we want to know what is going on. What everybody is doing, all you people, what their interest is to make sure that a fair trial is given to Mazen Nandi Kalu. That is the essence of whatever we are doing. Because the law is very strict on the issue of fair trial. So thank you. We thank the media people who are carrying this message. That is most fundamental. We must give you people credit. Because without you people, this case will not see the light of the day. We are here to make sure that this case gets to the logical conclusion. Thank you and God bless you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. So, what do you say? What can I do?
this morning. Look at the language yes, 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 you can